What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Last year we shook down the black car, ran a nine second pass on a stock TKX out of the box. My street car, I don't normally get out in the track much anymore with this. Today, we're gonna go back out to the track. We're gonna go ahead and put it down again, see if we can run another nine second pass. But before we get started, we got some issues with it. We gotta fix before we head out to the track. Stick around. So the main issue that we have going on right now, power steering line, and it got all over my header. And for you guys that know turbo systems, that's a fire waiting to happen. Thankfully, it happened last night when we were kind of, uh, you know, shaking it down on the street, having a little bit of fun. Needless to say, we got to switch the hose and we're going to set the car up for the track. So like per usual, we're going to get our slicks on. We're going to take a saline wing off. We're going to get over on the lift. And we're going to go through the rear axle bolts and just kind of give it a look over. So we had to actually turn the car around to get it kind of half in the shop because I'm going to fix the actual hose out here in the driveway in case it makes a little bit of a mess. But yeah, that's what happened. It came down and you can see the header. It just sat on the header and it burned a hose in there. Now, it was pretty tucked away. But this is kind of the stuff that we talk about in our live stream about Fox body hazards and safeties. Well, we always carry a, a fire extinguisher in the back seat in case we're out and about something like that happens my engine's a little bit crooked here um, we usually weld the tab on the engine to keep it straight so it has to move a little bit i mean i definitely don't like the way that looks and it's probably not very happy on the drive line either so got a handful of things to do in a few hours here to get it ready for racing but i'll be pretty excited to take it down the track again i know it needs a bump steer you'll see that on the lift matter of fact you can probably see it right there this car probably <laughs> This car suffers from the same issue that my uh, black, my white car did. But one thing's for sure, my black car always went straighter than my white car, so it's pretty level with the control arms. We'll see what it does on the track tonight. My, my black car needs some maintenance, and I mean, it needs paint, it needs some, you know, it's my street car. But again, it, this whole video is about us going nines again on the TKX, see if we can replicate what we did last year. The weather's beautiful, and it's gonna be a good race tonight. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play All right, so we got, like uh, skipped ahead to the good part, sort of We got we got the wheels on and we're going through our little checks like we do with the white car And you can see that the engine is crooked, just look at the oil pan But we're going through and checking for, you know, any sort of leaks or issues or stuff that was loose Cousin Paul already went through the whole four link in the back couple half turns was there so they do loosen up a little bit went through the drive shaft we always check drive shaft and this is just some proper maintenance that we usually do we know this car is powerful we know it makes some good power one of the main things like i said the motor was crooked so we're going to go up in here and i usually tack weld so you see there was a couple things we need to do i don't want to spend this whole video talking about what needs to be done to the black car we're going to hurry up and get this done we're going to get it in the trailer and get it loaded so i can put a little bit of race footage on it on this video instead of just being a whole maintenance video but uh, we got our cars pretty shut down for the most part, don't we, Paul? Oh, yeah. So we make sure that we go through things so we can be safe. All right, so me and cousin Paul actually messed with the engine a little bit. This is kind of important to us. You know, obviously the torque of the engine, that's definitely straight. It's pretty straight on the oil pan compared to the K member as well. It's kind of how you judge whether it's, you know, straight or not. So we're good under the hood. I know we're going to have to burn off some of the uh, power steering fluid they got on the... The, the, the pipe, but that's okay, we'll, we'll do that. We're here at Cunley Motorsports Park, and if you notice, it's quite a bit different. I'm excited to actually, this is the first Wednesday of me coming to Cunley Motorsports Park, which is the old Thompson that I drove at. So I'm excited to see what it's all about. So guys, I mean, we've done probably 3,000 street miles in the black car since including fox toberfest and several other events since the last time this car's been down the tracks so. all right so we got our usual suspects out here you guys know you got to be on film <laughs> let me show you what timmy combs the sheriff did he went military on me the od green let me know what you guys think you guys remember the yellow coupe that's in our uh, channel that with that big 460. that looks good dude only thing different to color but that's like everything. Whew. That looks really good. You did that yourself? Yep, in my garage. Like rattle can or with just? No, regular 
Clear, just, just like, just, is that a, is that a mat? Yeah, satin actually. Satin? Satin finish. OD green satin finish. That's crazy. That looks good, Tim. I love it. You guys know Mike Hutman, Papa Hutman, and Nate Hutman, who's slow Nate. And you know they have these fast cars that we always bring out here to the track. You guys remember RBR shaking it down. Wow, look at this. I can't like modify it, modify No, no, you mean dust too. Yeah. Don't you ever modify this car. This car looks beautiful. Look at the turbines. Look how clean the turbines are. That's why I can't put ponies on it. They look too nice. Don't touch it. This car is beautiful. Wow. How many miles do you have on it? Four, I, think. I just don't want to put it up because of the no, wind. No, go ahead. Yeah, you're the right. wind. I think you'd be alright. 64,000? Yeah. And it looks like this? Wow. What does it have? <laughs> it's not a distributor cap. Oh, yeah. Well, it seems like Retrofitted. It. It's got most of the stickers, including the cow. Or the uh, the coil cover. That's readable. That's usually the bus thing. It's always bus. Yeah, I mean, it did look you know like what I mean? I got it. I parked it. Punch it up everywhere. <laughs> bad on the second pass we went a 987 at 139 five four whatever 136 uh, 60 foot last week uh, the white cars uh, hood flew up and almost bent my cow panel so we I made uh, the sheriff give me one of the bungees because I owed him a couple dollars I said hey, you throw in the bungee we got a deal <laughs> but you guys this is a full weight we're 3400 pounds in race form I didn't take anything off it's got a full interior not terrible this motor's got more in it but you know this car doesn't you know what i mean it's just it's it's at the point where i'm worried about my safety you know what i mean i'm worried about getting down the track and stopping and and, and all that sort of stuff so you know we'll turn it up a little bit more maybe make one more hit for the animal and then we'll take it home and figure out what we're gonna do the bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing i'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can pull a cheap vibe, almost anything All it takes is some time and some The 985 you see in the slip, what happened was the guy broke in front of me and we reset the tree and it didn't give me a time. It just gave me my dial in or whatever. But you see it on the draggy, you see it on Sandy's uh, footage. We went, uh, uh, from what they said, I went to 978 at 141. That's moving. She's got about 24 clicks in the dial bomb, which puts it at around 13 pounds. That's not too bad on the 363. You know, street car with honestly, this thing weighs 3,600, 3,500 with me in it. So. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. We made three passes and definitely need a bump steer. 
got some steering issues going on had a bunch of fun hope you guys enjoy the uh the track the track videos it's pretty much all i got for you and just hanging out with some friends making some passes at the track you know good to see uh timmy combs the sheriff out here and uh rbr out here just just dialing it up man so if you guys enjoy this sort of stuff i encourage you to check out that join button below check out the merch shelf check out the thanks button i appreciate everybody who donates to the channel but outside of that i just appreciate you watching really thanks and i'll see you in the next video